Hello everyone, hi Marcelo and on this tutorial we will learn about Outlook Automation in Power Automate for Desktop. So let's get started by taking a brief overview about the automation that we will create. So the automation will start by getting emails from our Outlook account and then uh, for each email it will first reply to that email after reply to the email it will move the email to certain outlook folder depending on the subject of the email so for example we can see here that i sent myself for test emails and for example this one we can see that it has on the subject apple so if it has the word apple we will move to the folder apple if it has the word Amazon on the subject, we'll move the email to the folder Amazon. If it has the word Microsoft, we will move the email to the folder Microsoft. If the email hasn't any of these words on the subject, we'll move the email to the folder others. So that's the idea. And then we'll do these actions for each email and so we'll do these two actions for each email that we got. And so when there is no more emails to process, we will finish sending an email to certain email address and we'll finish the automation. So that's basically what our automation will do. So let's first create a new flow on Power Automate Desktop. And here the flow name can be Outlook. Automation. So now that our flow is created, let's develop the first step that is so to get emails from our Outlook account. So to automate Outlook on Power Automate for Desktop, first we need to launch Outlook instance. So here on Actions, let's search for Launch Outlook. And let's drag this action and so this will basically initialize Outlook instance so let's click on save and now we can also drag the close Outlook that will be on the end that closes basically uh, the Outlook instance and now between these two actions we'll use the actions that will execute actions on Outlook so first as we have seen, we need to get emails from our Outlook account and to get emails from our Outlook account, we'll use the retrieve emails action. So the one from Outlook. So let's drag this action after the launch Outlook action. And first, let's nick the account from which we want to get our Outlook emails. Then we need to indicate the mail folder from which we want to get the emails. So in my case, it's the inbox. Now here we have the option to retrieve all email messages, only the red email message or the read email message. So let's leave all email messages. And then we have here also the option to mark as read the emails retrieved. So I'll leave this one option as true to mark as red. And then here we have some options to filter those emails. So let's leave as it is. And so we can see that we'll be create a variable retrieved emails that will contain the retrieved email messages. We can change here if you want uh, the variable name. So now let's click here on save. And now let's run our automation to see if it gets emails from our Outlook account. So let's click here on run. And now here on the section flow variables, let's do a double click on the retrieved emails variable. And here we can see that we have got four emails from our Outlook account. So the ones here that I have on the inbox. So here we can see that I have four emails and here we have the four emails retrieved. 
So now that we are getting the emails from our Outlook accounts, we need to create basically a loop for each email to then uh, perform the actions that we want. So in our case, uh, reply to the email and then move the email. So to create a loop for each email, let's use here the action for each and let's drag it. And so let's indicate the value to iterate. So the value to iterate are uh, the values from our retrieved emails variable. And here, so we can rename here this variable to current email. And now uh, from this uh, variable, let's say from this instance current email, I will have access to the current email that it's being iterated on our loop. So now let's set up the reply to each email. So to reply to certain email here on Power Automate for desktop, let's search here for the action respond to Outlook email. So here we can see uh, the action. Let's drag it inside of our loop to be executed for each email. So here on account, let's indicate the account, our account. We could store it on a variable, but is it okay? It's just a demo, so we can store it here as we are doing. Then here, the mail message to respond, it's already indicated, is the current email. And then the action is to reply, and here we have the option to then reply all or forward. Let's leave the reply one as the one selected. And here on the body, let's just send email processing, for example. And now we have here also the option to add some attachments. So let's save. And let's run our automation to see if it responds to each Outlook message that we are processing. So now we should see four emails, four new emails on our Outlook account. In my case, I'll see them here because I send, I have sent the emails to myself. So let's just wait. And here you can see the four emails uh, that were responded. So it's working as expected, as we can see. So we have got uh, the emails. Now I will just uh, delete them. So then uh, next step after reply uh, to the emails we want to move the email to certain folder depending on the subject of that email. Uh, we will use here conditions. So let's use here the if condition. So here on first operand, let's start by getting uh, the subject of our email. So here we can see our current mail and if we expand it we can access to the email properties and here we can see the subject so let's do a double click and by this way we are getting the subject of our email and so now the condition so we want to move the email to the microsoft folder if it has the word microsoft so here let's use the contains and so if the subject contains the word Microsoft, we'll move it so to the folder Microsoft. So here let's click on ignore case. So if the subject has Microsoft only a small letters, we will handle also uh, this case and move it to the right folder. So let's click here on save. And here we can see the condition. And if it's true, our Automation will enter on this section and execute the actions inside of this if condition. So to move now the email, we'll use the action process email. 
and here we can see it let's use the one from outlook uh, let's track it inside of the if and so here account to use let's use our account email message to process it so the current email and now here the operation so we want to move the email to a folder so let's leave this one selected and so now here mail folder we have to indicate the folder to where we want to move our email so uh, make sure you create uh, the folder here on outlook to create a folder it's really simple you just need to right click and click here on new folder so here i'll uh, type the folder name microsoft and let's click here on save so now we can use an else if so if this isn't true we will use an else so if the first condition is not true we will execute this one and so here let's check if it has the word amazon on the subject of the email so here let's take the subject let's use a contains and so if it contains the word amazon we will move the email to the folder amazon so now here we can copy this action doing control c and then control v and move it to here to the else if and we just have to change here the folder name now let's add another else if and so if the subject of the email contains uh, the word apple we'll move it to the folder apple so here we just have to change the mail folder to apple and in last if the email isn't on the subject any of these words we want to move it to the others folder so now let's use the else action and so if any of these uh, conditions are true we'll move our email to the others folder so now here let's decay the mail folder others and let's save so uh, let's see if our automation is working as expected so let's run it so the automation already handed let's open our outlook and here we can see uh, the reply uh, to our emails and then we can see on the amazon folder the email that has the word Amazon on the subject. On the Apple folder, we can see an email that has the word Apple on the subject. On the Microsoft folder, we can see uh, an email that has the word Microsoft on the subject. And in last, on others, we can see an email that has not any of these words on the subject. So it's working well. We can delete here these uh, email messages and move these ones again to the inbox so let's move again to the inbox and so and now uh, let's develop the next step so the next step is to send an email to certain email address after processing each email that we got on the first step so to send an email we'll use the action send email and the one from outlook so we'll use it after the end of the loop so let's track it after the end and so here let's indicate the account to use and now here let's indicate uh, the email of the recipient so i'll indicate here an email And now here, let's add the subject. And here on the body, let's uh, add just a test. 
and now we can save and let's run our automation again so let's run it so the automation already finished and now let's check on the inbox of this email if i receive uh, the email and here we can see that we have received so uh, the email sent from power automate for desktop so if you like this tutorial please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell so you'll get notified on this tutorial that i launch here on the channel